Hi, everybody. I, I want to share a talk I'm preparing uh, to present uh, in a few weeks at uh, the FDRS um, in uh, St. Louis um, on the differential diagnosis of lipedema. And that's also also like lipedema lookalikes. That's uh, in, in, in kind of more common language. And uh, this is important because we Lipedema, we know there's poor awareness of lipedema, but there's also poor awareness of uh, diseases that look like lipedema, but aren't lipedema. So here, here's a great example. Is this lipedema? Looks a lot like lipedema, but no. Um, this is mad lungs disease. It's a related lipomatosis. It's the mere opposite of lip, uh, lipedema. So the, it affects the upper body more um, and, uh, and uh, then the lower body, but can also affect the thighs. Um, so it's more associated with insulin resistance, especially in, uh, in females with it. Um, but it also occurs in men and uh, can be associated with uh, alcohol use in men. Is this like to do? Nope. Um, that this is Durkheim's disease. It's another related lipomatosis um, or, or uh, fibrotic uh, adipose disease. It's associated with uh, much more insulin resistance and really needs to be treated uh, uh, with uh, things that lower inflammation. Um, it's more fibrotic and characterized by painful lipomas rather, in, in, instead of diffuse painful tissue. Um, Lipedema reduction surgery is less effective. Um, in fact, all surgeries on uh, Durkheim's disease can aggravate it. So it, the healing process in, in uh, Durkheim's disease is um, abnormal. It, it's overreactive and you're, you're, it's, the body wants to be more inflamed and, and, and become more fibrotic of any area that has trauma. It affects both men and women uh, pretty equally. Is this lipidine? Nope. Uh, so this is iliac vein compression. It's also known as May Therner's. Now, uh, usually one leg is affected, but 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 both legs can be affected even equally. Um, uh, it's it's a higher risk for DVT. So it's a compression of the uh, of the iliac artery on the iliac vein. Um, and, uh, so there's, uh, so lots of, uh, venous problems can occur, um, including DVTs, uh, lipos, uh, lipedema reduction surgery is not effective treatment, certainly for the pain caused by the iliac vein compression. Stenting can be, but we always have to be careful. Um, no, uh, uh, some, sometimes, uh, uh, conservative treatment is, is warranted, um, is this lipidem? Surely this is lipidem. I mean, how disproportionate her, her, her body is. I mean, her legs are very large with lots of lots of adipose tissue and, and no adipose tissue uh, uh, in her uh, abdomen or, or her arms. No, again, um, this is actually acquired partial lipodystrophy. It's usually precipitated by a, a febrile, a febrile illness. So it, it comes on kind of insidiously. Sometimes people don't even know, um, but it leads to fat loss in the trunk and face and uh, upper extremities while the the, um, the lower extremities are spared um, and actually become enlarged. Um, and lipedema reduction surgery is not effective. In fact, it can make it worse. Is this lipedema? No, again. Um, so... This is lymphedema. Um, now, lymphedema uh, can be primary or, or congenital or, or secondary acquired, which is much more common. The most common causes are obesity, venous disease, and trauma. Less common causes of lymphedema include lipedema and cancer. So it can affect the hands and feet. Uh, this is most often, often seen with primary or spare them. And uh, most secondary lipedemas um, are lymphedemas are are uh, uh, do uh, um, spare the hands and feet. So that's a that's a mis common misunderstanding. 
is this lipedema? Well, that's a yes and a no. She has lipedema, uh, but she also has obesity. And obesity is the most common disease in the United States. Uh, it affects, uh, so the central or visceral fat accumulation more than the extremities um, is associated with increased risk of diabetes and cardiovascular disease. So this is the same patient uh, before bariatric surgery on the left and then after bariatric surgery. I mean, you can see she has cuffs before and, 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 but, but clearly um, there's a, um, a change and you can see cl more clearly her lipedema after the uh, bariatric surgery. In summary, there are a lot of diseases that look like lipedema. Misdiagnosis is common. Um, and you can't diagnose lipedema by looking at photos. All of these, all of these uh, photos uh, look pretty convincing for lipedema, but they, but they weren't. Or, or, or in a couple cases, they were uh, that were the second. They were secondary uh, diseases. So improper diagnosis leads to improper treatment and uh, can result in poor outcomes. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. I hope this helps and uh, we uh, look forward to, if, uh, if you're coming to St. Louis, looking forward to um, delivering the talk live.